We've been to four organizations in four different states, over 11,000 miles of travel, and now those organizations are here. They're here for a week of boot camp. We've got challenges for them. We've got fundraising, education day, auction rescues, adoption events. They're going to be extremely busy while they're here at boot camp. And it all starts now. We have worked hard for the past 18 years to become a successful rescue. And we're at the point right now that we can honestly say that we can become an open emission rescue. We will be using the grant for a vital piece of equipment for our organization. Because we have to haul water, we do not have the ability to just turn on the faucet. If you pick us, then we will be able to not only be able to grow, but we also will be able to further our operation as a full circle of life rescue with an open emission policy. For us to win this would be amazing. We have been with Wild Horses for 32 years. I love working with them and doing stuff with them. And after coming here and seeing your squeeze and how it works, is something that is what we had asked for. We'd also love to help the community. A lot of Mustangs are in Florida and they could come to our center and we could help get them vetted, feet done on horses as well as our own great herd. So that's what we're hoping for is to be able to get the squeeze so that we can work with our Mustangs or difficult horses that come in. I believe our organization should win due to the fact that we have the property that we can and we're willing to grow and we're willing to learn all these things. Um, we were so blessed to be here and so happy to be here and happy to meet the organizations that we do that are in all pretty much four corners of the United States and I'm hoping that together that we can end the slaughter pipeline and um, the more auction yards that we can reach, the better we can do that. We. As a family, we are very excited to be a full circle shelter, to be able to be there for everything that, you know, like Jason wants, a day drive. Our property needs to be set up to do that, and we are willing to put in the sweat and tears that it takes to build that, because we all know how long it takes and how much effort it takes to do that. So I think that we're willing to be there for every horse possible. Hidden Pond Farm Equine Rescue is your winner for Full Circle of Life Shelter Grant. We will take the money that you give us and encourage us to do even more than what we already do already. We mentor children, we have a 4-H group, we help educate other entities that are not yet nonprofits to become a nonprofit. The more we network, the more we work together as a team, the more horses we'll be able to save, and that's the bottom line, to end slaughter, end suffering, and end the horses in the auction pipeline. So I think you would make a good decision in choosing us and helping grow our community. It's been a journey to four states, four organizations, over 11,000 miles, and it all comes down to today. The question I want to ask you is now that you know what the full circle of life sheltering philosophy is, I want to ask you if you want to continue this process with us in being in piloting a full circle of life horse shelter for the next six months. 100% yes. Yes, we would love to. Absolutely, there's no doubt in my mind. Yes, absolutely, please. Between the judges, there was a tie. Ultimately, we had to figure out exactly who could, could be the winner. And so I am going to ask two of you to step back and, and join the other rescuers behind you. Like, I have so much respect for each and every one of you. You do amazing jobs. And sadly, I must ask Phyllis to step back. And also Diane. You two are the top two of the top four of the top 30 of the top organizations in America. You're standing on the pinnacle. And unfortunately, somebody will have to step back. Somebody will be the winner. And it is a decision that nobody took lightly. The answer did not come easy. The answer was hard. KT, you're the winner. <laughs>